Leo in love, how are you today? Welcome everybody, hope everyone's doing well. We're here for a new love reading for the sign of Leo. Oh, look at this, Leo, you popped right out of the deck. I'm going to make that your first card. There you are, okay. So let's see what his, let's cut the deck and see what's at the bottom. You were wanting to speak up, you had something to say. Bottom of the deck, the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, you have great clarity. It looks like you're about to, you're at a crossroads, a prefer, perfect place for new love, right? You have left something behind, you've done some healing work, you don't wanna repeat, but you would like this new beginning. Look at this Ace of Cups lover's card, beautiful. Oh, beautiful, Leo, you've been doing your work, okay. So let's see what the energy is in terms of who's coming towards you. We have a beautiful Piscean Knight of Cups with a big a bunch of roses and a nice picnic spread. Oh, look at this Justice card. I love the Justice card in a love reading. The reason is, is it represents the marriage license. It represents the seventh house of love on the astrology wheel. So now we have romance. We go from fifth house to seventh house energy and a romantic opportunity. How is the world viewing you? Everybody, all of your friends, everybody that's around you that cares about you really feels happy for the choices that you have made, for the fact that you're having this new beginning. You could be involved. You may have a Libra, a Pisces, another Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or Scorpio coming in. In your heart space, you are ready, Libra. You are ready, Leo. You are moving forward rapidly. That is Cancerian energy. It is the Emperor driving the chariot. You are looking for your divine partner and you are ready. What we see coming in here is you are going to hold back. You're not going to give up too much. You're going to sort of just wait and see what your Knight of Cups is going to do. Very much a wait and see attitude. What's hidden here is that you've given up your burdens. Beautiful energy, oh, release, release, yay. So whatever has been holding you back in the past is now done, you are finished and you are really in a spiritually a better, better, better place. The universe is advising you not to make a decision right away, to go ahead and date more than one person. Spirit says, don't make a decision right away again, hold back. Beautiful major arcana is here, look at this. You have judgment, the sun, and justice, and the chariot. That is a powerful, dynamic time in your love life. So what we do see for the outcome for this week is that you will not have a resolution in love. You find yourself holding back. There is a little bit of fear still that's lingering, but you're finding your balance, Leo. So let's take a look and see what is going on. Let's clarify this for you and see what's happening. Before we clarify it though, I would really, really like to get um, the Moonology deck and see what the Moonology deck has for advice. Okay, so let's see what we have for our beautiful Leo friends. Okay, what is the advice from Spirit? A win-win outcome is, oh my God, this is great. A win-win outcome is forecast the full moon in Libra. There we have Libra. Oh, okay, so Spirit has your back. Spirit knows that you're doing well for yourself. Let's look and clarify the cards. I love this for you. Okay. So we are going to... Why is the sun card? In the recent past, your energy was all about having fun. Very much about enjoying the summer and life and... You are feeling very good. You're happy on a daily basis. You have a lot of fantasies about what you want. You might even be out partying. You could be drinking. <laughs> it's okay, you get to have fun, right? We get this beautiful, that's Pisces energy. Excuse me, that's Scorpio energy. So it does look like you may have been reminiscing or thinking about the past, but you released it. What do we have? Why do we have this beautiful, Knight of Cups here. The Sun card, oh my God, a double Sun card. So you are really enjoying 
a summer romance, a summer fling. Is it the real thing or is it just a fling? You're okay. You are living in the moment. You are doing the right thing. You're making good judgment calls. This does have the capacity to go the distance. Isn't that great? I love that energy for you. Let's see why is justice here? Judgment. Okay. So what I do see for many of you is that when I get the justice card, excuse me, justice and judgment twice, or the tower card. I'm getting that it is most likely that many of you went through a sudden breakup or a sudden, suddenly a marriage may have ended. Justice is a paperwork usually for divorce or marriage or buying a home or paperwork legally. But the judgment card says that you are releasing something from the past. And when we get the tower card, it was very unexpected. Why was it unexpected? The magician card. You may have manifested it. You may have manifested this breakup from the past. You might have also, for some of you, somebody here was married to somebody who probably had a drinking problem. But why do we have the Magician card, Ace of Cups? You're you are manifesting new love and we have Gemini and Virgo energy. Spirit, tell us why the Seven of Cups is here. I want to go back there. Ace of Wands, you are fantasizing about a new lover. You're fantasizing about a new opportunity, a passionate new opportunity, and you are feeling hot, baby. The sun is streaming down on you. The High Priestess says that you are keeping your emotions to yourself. You're very comfortable with that. You're keeping your own counsel. You're using a very powerful laws of attraction energy by not speaking, not talking about this, keeping your own counsel, you know, not really talking to friends. You know, you have great judgment, Leo. You really do know what you need and want. You know what direction you're headed in and you don't need any advice from anybody, truly, except your favorite tarot reader. I'm teasing. Okay, the chariot card twice. Oh my God, you cannot wait to get out of Dodge. I mean, we see that it looks as though you were once again, you know, it looks like you have concern for children, but it also looks as though you were dating somebody in the past or married to somebody in the past who was flaky, who wasn't mature. There was a lot of love there, but I'm just seeing that you're really happy that that, whatever it was, that you're leaving or that you've left, you're so happy about it. Eight of Wands as you rush in with Sagittarius energy into your future. That can also mean travel, airfare, it can mean a vacation, meeting somebody while you're away. But it's a lot of communication, it's a lot of passion. Keep the fire extinguisher by the bed. The sheets could catch on fire. Okay, so we have, you are a person who does not like to speak about their emotions that much. What I get is that you love very deeply and here you are, Leo, in the reading again. Leo, you know, we're getting the strength card here. So you are going to make the decision. You're not going to let anybody influence you unduly. You're waiting for your divine partner. And when that person comes in, you will take action to move forward. Tell us, Spirit, something about the Eight of Wands card with this chariot moving forward very quickly justice card so this is very interesting energy the justice twice the judgment twice the sun twice i mean that is very powerful like you are jet you're like a rocket ship you're like taking off into the 5d you're manifesting all kinds of great uh energy this is holding back and that's you know that King of Cups is Scorpio energy, not really talking too much about how you feel. The Emperor energy, you are bossing up. You really are in charge. You are in charge of your life. And the Chariot is looking. You might be buying a new car. And I'm getting, there could, with all these Justice cards here, there could be the purchase of a new home, a new car, whatever is going on. There's a lot of action here. It can even mean like new jobs, a new location but I'm really getting you like building your life from the ground up. Look at this. There is somebody from your past with whom you would like to have a reconciliation. This could be somebody from the long past as the emperor looks backwards. Somebody that you may have loved many years ago. Somebody that you may have loved when you were teenagers or in high school or college. I'm getting the energy that says that your person is feeling 
the same way. With two judgments and two, uh, two justices, you may even be having a relationship with somebody from long ago. You may both be going through the same thing at the same time. The Nine of Swords, you don't have a worry in the world. You've let go of all the worry, all the sleepless nights. Our history, my friends. You have made incredible progress, Leo. Why is Spirit telling you not to juggle to, or to juggle to? Spirit is, well, you know what? This is the transition, though. You have a transition out of one relationship and into another. And so that's what I see as the Two of Coins. But let's see what else we can learn about that Two of Coins. Let's see. We have the Moon card. So what is it that Spirit is hiding from you? Spirit thinks you need to be protected from something. Ah, somebody who knows you very well definitely wants to marry. So what I'm seeing is that you're not going to let your desires be known. Spirit is recommending once again, don't give, don't give information about yourself. You know, just don't do it. And we're seeing that you're actually already in that mode. You're holding back. The Scorpio King is definitely the king that does not talk about their emotions. They just have a, you know, they're, they're very well in charge of the emotional realm. But you are bossing up right now. You are taking care of yourself. You're looking good. You, you're in this beautiful energy of manifesting this Queen of Pentacles, a very beautiful, divine uh, energy, you know, divine feminine. We also have the Queen of Cups here. So you love deeply, but you take love very seriously. It's not a joke to you. It's not play. You are really serious about this, Leo. We have the Hanged Man as the week ends at this point in time. These readings are timeless. So, you know, whenever you come across it, it's your reading if it resonates. But what we see is that you are going to really take your time getting married. You're not going to rush. But it does show marriage as an outcome for whatever this new love, this new passionate love affair. And it looks like with somebody from the past, again, I feel as though there's been, you know, multiple, oh, at least one divorce. And you are really ready for this new fiery beginning. A win-win forecast is forecast is uh, the outcome. So let's see what the shaman's dream has in store for you on the 5D. For advice, Leo, let's see what we have. What is the advice? Okay, diving into a task. Deep diver. So you're going to really keep your own counsel. That's what the King of Cups energy is about. The Queen of Pentacles is very much about the same thing as is the Queen of Cups. So we're getting experience, life as it comes, really living in the moment. Good for you. The double sub card confirms that you are definitely living passionately and with authenticity in the moment. It's been a joy and a pleasure to bring this reading to you. I'm so grateful to have you as a viewer. Thank you so much.